Hello, welcome back to Tutorial Made Simple. This video is second part of Android tutorial creating a user login interface and Skull Lite database using Delphi 10.4. In the first video, we have created Sklite database and the user login interface. In this video, we will use the Sklite database to validate the user entered from the login user interface. Okay. Let's start. First, I will create a new form. This form is for a main menu. Once user successfully log in, will be directed to this main form. Select on file then New and select Multi-Device Form Delphi. Save the new unit, I will name it, Umain. Edit the form caption and form name. Let's add to layout and one grid layout. Set the layout alignment to top bottom, and for grid layout set it to client. Next, in the grid layout, add one more row and one more column. So we will have 3x3 three three grid. We will go back to this form later, to add label and button, but before that, I will add a data module form to access Sklite database. From the file menu, select new, then select other. Then select database and data module. Change the form name and then save the form as UDM. To access the data, put FiredAct connection and FiredAct query. Change the name to something that reflect the database data, and set the driver name to Sklite. Set the login prompt to false, so that it will not prompt it for login information during the application execution. Now, we have to link the Sklite database file. In the FiredAct database connections parameter, choose database and select the Sklite database file that we have prepared. Click save. We have not linked our database file into our project yet, so let's add it. In the project window, select the project, right click then select add change to the folder containing the database change the extension to any file so that the database file will be shown then select our database file next add query text into the fired act query component 
Click Execute to check it can read the data. If successful, you will see the data from the selected table. Click OK to close it. Next, we need to add this data module unit and main unit to the login unit using uses statement. I just need to correct the name of the DB connection, just to make it consistent. We need to check the form order creation. This can be done from project menu, select option, then click on form. In this case, I will set the data module as the first form, followed by login form, and the main menu form will be created from the code, so I move it to the available form. Another way, we can check or modify this from the project source code. Just click on the project and select view source. Next, let's add a code to verify the username and password when the login button clicked. There are a few ways to do this, what I am going to do. Basically the code will check whether the username is in the database, so first I will change the query. We also can put this query in the query component so that we don't have to change it in the code, but since I will use the same query component, I prefer to use this method. You may download the code from the link in the description.
Once the username and password are correct, then we will hide the login form and show the main menu. Let's try it first on Windows platform. Its looks works on Windows. Now let's test it on Android platform. To do this you need to have a correct setup and connect your Android phone to the computer through USB. We got an error when reading the database. The reason for this error is that we have not specify where the database file location for each platform. So let's add this in the before connect event on the database connection component.
This time it works okay, but it looks that we still need to fix the label font in the main menu form. Thank you. 